Is that you, apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Now, I hope you're ready to work. I've got a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. I don't have a weak stomach. Good. This is not a task for the easily unsettled. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora, one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the vault was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. Oh dear, what am I into this time? You've done the impossible before. You'll do it again. But try making contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora, Major Bessica. Bessica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. You want me to work with an Imperial? Those who succeed without the Force make up for what they lack with a certain resourcefulness. Don't write Bessica off. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Bessica of the Republic's involvement, so he'll be better equipped to assist you. No doubt the Republic's hounds will get in your way. Why is the Republic's involvement a secret? At the end of the last war, the Treaty of Coruscant left Balmora to the Empire. The Republic cannot risk open involvement without violating the Treaty. But the war is secondary to the Artifact. Retrieve the Artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize. There's something of great value in one of the hazard vaults. The one that was blown open. I heard you could help. Ah, who's this? Sith. We don't often get Sith on Balmora. It's a real pleasure. I have a son on Korriban, you know. It's a tough war you're walking into. We're fixing blasters with adhesive tape. But we'll help you any way we can. Now, let's see. A blown open vault. Hmm. Uh, Captain, do we still have those pumps? Sir, if this is the vault I think it is, it won't be that easy. The fumes alone have put men in the medical center. I need to get to the bottom of that pit. We need some way to make this pit less deadly. Tell me, Captain, is there nothing that can survive the toxic waste? Well, nothing grows there, sir. But there are the colicoids. Colicoids? What do those bugs want with toxic waste? Food, sir. Our surveillance satellites have recorded them feeding on the toxic waste. We suspect they've been designed to eat it. I'll just assume you're kidding. It does seem like a strange thing to do, Captain. It's a guess. The toxic waste resistance may have been an unintended result. Or the Balmoran scientists were insane. I personally prefer the term differently rational. Well, whatever you call it, it might be just what we need to crack this thing. There must be a way for you to take on the Colicoid's resistance, so you can enter the vault. Captain, where were these creatures created? Well, I can't say for sure, but there's a research lab not far from here that was overrun with Colicoids as soon as the Balmorans abandoned it. But the Colicoids are vicious creatures. Just one of them tore apart a whole squad. You call yourself an army? I'm sorry, Sith. We don't have the numbers to deal with these things. But if you can get into that lab, We'll get you into that toxic pit. Sir, even if we find out what causes this resistance, we don't have the... We'll worry about that later. Right now, our Sith friend has to get into that lab and find out what the Balmorans did to those creatures.
Major, if we don't get those supply vehicles... My men are working on it, sir, but until that shipment of plasteel I requested three months ago comes in... I don't care! Tear it off the walls if you have to! It is not wise to keep a Sith waiting. Don't worry about the Colonel. He's loud and impatient, but we all are these days. What with the supply shortage? Now, did you manage to find anything out of the lab? Captain Ilun and I have been doing our own research, but we haven't discovered much. Let's just say I wouldn't want to live there. Have a look at this, Captain. I, I can't make head or tail of it. Hmm. This confirms our suspicions. The colocoids were being mutated to clean up the waste, and it looks like the chemical mutagen they were using could theoretically work. Well, that's it. That's our solution, right? We just replicate this chemical mutagen. Um, sir, there's a problem. Our chief scientist defected to the Republic a few months back. We can't begin to replicate, let alone test the serum without him. I guess we need to undefect him. Undefect indeed. <laughs> You certainly have a way with words, Sith. The scientist's name is Yanis Tirek, and he's still on Balmora, in a Republic research base out near the Toxic Lakes. All right, Sith. It looks like you have your next objective. You find this scientist, you subdue him, my men will bring him back, and we'll get you your chance to swim in toxic waste. The Republic's going to taste blood tonight. Oh, and Sith, hurry back. I just got word that my son passed his trials on Coriban and is on his way to Balmora. I don't want you to miss him. should have known Bessica wouldn't let me go without a fight. But sending a Sith seems a bit like overkill. Are you here to kill me, or are you going to torture me first? Thanks for reminding me. No, no, listen, listen. I won't be scared into returning. I risked my life to come here. Being an Imperial scientist, it's a fate worse than death. Watching as I make a necklace from your entrails is another. I won't go back to that place. You don't know what it's like. We're not expected to be men. We're machines, slaving day in and day out. No intellectual freedom, no creativity. I'm tired of building killing machines. I want to do some good for humanity. I can't go back there. We'll see how you feel after this. Damn Sith! Oh. You'll have to kill me. I'll never return to the Empire willingly. I know just when to stop.
Joseph! Major Bessica sent us in after you to collect the scientist. Just make sure he doesn't try to run. Of course. We'll see you back at Sobrik. Sith, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, congratulations, by the way. I heard that you found our scientist. We'll whip up that serum and get you into that toxic waste pit in no time. But there's a problem, and I need your help. I don't do this sort of thing. Look, you know I hold you in the highest respect, so I wouldn't ask if it wasn't truly important. It's my son. He arrived shortly after you left for the research facility, but then he went after some holocron, he called it. A few minutes ago, I got what I think was a distress call from him. He's in trouble. He can handle himself. Look, I didn't want to have to do this, but it sounds like I have no choice. This is my son we're talking about, and if you want your serum, you'll save him. Have you forgotten who you're dealing with? I have pull in important circles, and my brother is a high-ranking Sith. You'll listen if you know what's good for you. All this time you've been running around, we've been fighting a war. I've been more than happy to help, but not at the expense of my son's life. It's your grave, Major. Save your idle threats. You won't get your serum without me. We narrowed the origin of the distress call to an abandoned building near the Republic Crater outpost. I'm guessing the Republic's captured him, which means a lot of fighting to free him. Good luck. Nicodemus in in PC me ban from us to see the from.